Good morning, folks. Apparently, we now name winter storms so that we can better communicate the threat and impact they may have. My, my, Grandma, what an eloquent definition of fear-mongering you have. Did you see these names? Half of you are probably thinking, so what, but I'll bet the other half recognize the significance. Outstanding article here on climate change, killing the Mayans. This groundwater inundation topic is new to me, but I still find it very interesting. 50,000 starfish washed up dead in Ireland. Mass fish die off in Australia as well. All links are below, as always. Death toll from yesterday's Myanmar quake is around a dozen. The second day of the quake watch saw the same area of last week's Guatemalan 7-pointer take a mid-sized 6-pointer, hit 6.6 .6 on multiple moment magnitude readers. The pressure here in Europe says temperatures should be stable south and west, but watch these swings upcoming for Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Australian coastline and New Zealand are the ones dealing with low pressure right now. Here's the upcoming precipitation likelihoods. Over an inch of rain in 30 minutes is definitely worth watching. Eyes on the Texas convergence and explosion of storms from that area. You can see why it's 60 degrees in Columbus, Ohio right now and why we won't come close to that again for days as the cold air cometh. This convergence may cause bad weather where the air is a little warmer. The F1 layer critical frequency is concerning once again, even higher than it was yesterday. At this point, the primary imminent space weather concern is impact from the coronal mass ejection three days ago. It is expected to strike Earth today. Since yesterday's early M flare, we have been relatively quiet. Remember the heliocentric alignments begin tomorrow. Let's look at the sunspot candidates for more flares, starting south center and going clockwise around. You remember this active region came out of nowhere, but developed with poles easily separated. Well now, blue and red begin to mix in the middle as this becomes the primary Earth-facing active region. On the limb, this large umbra was alone yesterday, but these little spots developed underneath and we now have some magnetic complexity. On the northeastern limb, actually decayed a bit last night, but still large, likely Zurich Class F, and I might even see a delta spot forming up top. Coming closer to center disk, no change. These umbra are well developed, but minding their own magnetic beeswax. In addition to the coronal mass ejection we expect, coronal hole streams are set to hit early this week as well. Last but not least, the sun popped off yet another eruption this morning, south central disk. Likely any ejecta will be headed our way. Solar flare watch picks up tomorrow. Quake watch saw a 7 pointer in Myanmar and the 6.6 .6 in Guatemala. Let's hope it's over. Eyes open, no fear, it's 5.58 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.